Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. I'm with the folks from Ernie Ball with Tosin Abasi. It's great to see you. You too. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah, you were up to Sweetwater a few years ago and we yeah. sat down. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got to get you back soon. Fort Wayne. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're at NAM, and yeah. the craziness is going on, right? Mm hmm Have you been here for the whole show? I actually just got here like an hour ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Normally at a NAM, I'd be here like... Four days when it still was four days. Right. So right. it's cool. To, it's cool to see all, that it's actually a bigger name than the previous year. Yeah, it's happening. It's loud. Lots of new guitars and mm -hmm. drums and toys everywhere. Fun stuff. My favorite things. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of, we got an array of cool guitars behind us here. Yep. Yeah. The, the Kaizens, right? Yep. And uh, we were both we were both uh, checking out this new, uh, the new Should color you I got grab going it? on there. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about this guitar and uh, how it came to be. I mean, the, the Kaizen in general, and then we'll talk about this one. Yeah, the Kaizen is a collaboration between myself and, and Music Man. Um, I've always been a fan of their guitar design and their build quality. Um, they just always stood out in those two regards. Lots of original body shapes. Mm -hmm. um, a really cool, bold approach to some of these body shapes as well, which I really respect. And then the actual build quality just being as high as it is. Uh, and a lot of really innovative, you know, features in a lot of these guitars, like the Majesty, you get, you know, 3 band EQ with Paizo, and you get DB Boost, and you get, you get all the things. All the stuff, yeah. So I just appreciate, appreciated their offerings. And, yeah, over the pandemic, uh, we were discussing some things, and it kind of just, like, organically emerged. They're like, would you be cool to design a guitar with us? Mm -hmm. And... It didn't take much for me to say yes because of uh, visiting the facility and just seeing how much they could do. I was like, dang, this is cool. Um, so, you know, the Kaizen is basically like if if I had to design a guitar that I felt maybe they weren't making already mm -hmm. that that I would want to play and maybe other people would, would like want to play as well. Right. So that's kind of what this is, is an aggressive double cutaway forward aesthetic, mm -hmm. really fast playing. So, yeah, and then uh, at this point, this finish is kind of a, uh, this is a new innovation of theirs. It's, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think it really exemplifies the, the shape as well. Mm -hmm. um, and what's cool is that it, you know, it still feels and resonates like, like, you know, really a, a live guitar, but you have this metallic uh, finish, which I've never seen before. This one's actually patinaed. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, uh, the name has, I don't recall the exact name, but it's something with rain in it, but it's almost like an acid rain finish on the, uh, yeah. on the, on the body. It's really, really beautiful. I love this idea of like a, almost like a technological artifact from the future. Yeah. Or something, maybe we discover a piece of technology from something, an advanced society really far in mm -hmm. the past, and it is this like distress or, or right. something re-entering orbit and getting destroyed in the process. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. So it, Absolutely. It's pretty, absolutely. And it's unique. I've never seen anything like it. No, me either. That's totally new. And you've, you've actually taken a very innovative approach with so many of the features on the guitar. There are things like, uh, they're calling it the infinite radius fretboard, mm -hmm. which is, I'm assuming, pretty super flat. Sure. Yeah, so it's interesting. This is one of their innovations, and it, it intuitively made sense to me because oftentimes I'm on stage and I'll find myself almost like trying to tabletop the guitar a little bit mm -hmm. so I can either see what I'm doing, um, and so they basically integrated that in, into the shape of the fingerboard where normal fingerboards have a radius where there's a peak at the, at the top of the radius. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm understanding correctly, this, this is more of a wedge shape where you basically never encounter that peak on the board itself. So in effect, the bottom half of the board is actually sitting a little higher than the, than the, the base side, which creates a slight wedge shape. So okay. in your visual field, all of those strings are not obscured by the what would be the peak of the radius, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is all seamlessly integrated. So when you pick up the guitar, it doesn't feel like that, right? But you feel a sense of oh, I can see and play easier, and it fundamentally feels pretty flat. So you mm -hmm. don't have this sort of uh, hilltop sort of experience of a radius. Um, so yeah, really well integrated to the point where it's almost invisible, but it's noticeable enough to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting along with this neck a little bit better. Right, right. Yeah, there's a lot of really deep, cool ideas in this guitar, even though it looks, on paper, the spec sheet might look a little bit shorter than some of the feature-laden things, but 
the entire body is, I mean, it's effectively. It, it's sculpted, right? It's sculpted. It, yeah. Very, there are no flat surfaces here. Yeah. And so, I mean, even, I mean, they're 3D printing the, the control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that, and that's the kind of the level of engineering at Music Man is, is really impressive. They, they've got a lot of smart people and a lot of good. A lot of good uh, tech. So. Right, right. So that wedge shape on the fingerboard, I assume, is why the fret markers are moved down toward the bottom, so you can see those when you're looking at it from from above when you're holding. Yeah, it. yeah. So you still have the side markers, mm -hmm. but um, I just felt like it make more made more sense to have them on the bottom. And some inlays kind of answer for that, but when you're down here, it just seems pretty useful to have your your markers where you can see them in this area. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the pickups, because those are unique as well, right? Yeah, so um, Music Man has innovated this uh, heat treating technology. Um, I don't claim to understand the science, mm -hmm. but what I did hear was like more fidelity. It was almost like, uh, it's hard to describe, but they feel more alive than they would otherwise, which I think right. is great. But they are passive magnetic pickups. Mm -hmm. um, I voiced this to be kind of like a... It's towards the high gain gain part of the you know output, and you know I just wanted it to be articulate. Um, and then this was cool. I noticed that they didn't have any guitars in this same sort of vein that used their mini humbucker. I'm a big Ingvain In fan, so mm -hmm. I like um, how he would shred on the neck pickup of a Strat. So this is not quite Strat, but it is less. Um, Less of that humbucker sound and closer to something like a P90. Okay. Like a really beefy, almost single coil sound, which I was like uh, playing one of their uh, St. Vincent, and she's got three of these in her guitar. And I was like, okay, I really dig this pickup. It has a lot of character. So we, we adapted this to be more suited to this higher output and closer to what I style I play, but it's basically a mini humbucker. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And you've got it. Canted at a slight angle there. Usually you see the bridge pickup canted, but normally the neck pickup is straight. Yeah, so you've got a multi-scale neck. So this is just following the 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 uh, the, the arc of the of the slanted frets. Mm -hmm. Gets the harmonics in the right place for all the strings. As yeah, you're, yeah. As you're working on the multi-scale, mm -hmm. right? And then of course the Steinberger tuners at the top, so you don't have the tuning pegs. Yeah, these are really interesting. They presented this to me. Part of me feels like. I got lucky because they had all this, they had all these ideas that they hadn't actually thrown out a guitar yet. Right. And, you know, maybe part of the impetus to work with me is that I, I like a lot of these sort of um, less than traditional, um, you know, features on a guitar. And what's cool about these is that they're locking tuners that um, don't have the tuning pegs. So we were able to achieve this really clean looking headstock. There's a little less weight. Mm -hmm. And the actual action is incredibly, you should give that a try, actually. Oh, yeah, it's super fine, isn't it? Super fine, the ratio and, like, the actual action of the tuning peg is, is super smooth and fine, so you can get these right where you want them. And I don't think I've seen these on any other guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought it was perfect for this, for yeah. a few reasons, so. Yeah, well, I love the clean look of the headstock with no, uh, no peg heads. It's kind of cool. It. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. And roasted maple neck, if I'm just It's a correct, roasted correct. flame maple neck. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It kind of has this uh, sort of just oil finish on it. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of, you know, a good piece of wood in your hands is just like, there's nothing like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's cool integrating like just like really great premium pieces of wood with some features that almost feel um, inorganic in a way or, yeah. you know. And futuristic, almost in mm -hmm. some of the uh, some of the approach there. Well, it's fantastic. Of course, all the colors are gorgeous. I mean, they really are. And, and we were talking a little bit about the the shape, and it, it's so ergonomic to hold. Yeah, uh, I personally think it feels great on the body. You know, mm -hmm. they're really good at noticing weight balance of the guitar and the overall thinness. You know, there are some points that are actually really quite slim here. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a guitar company as well, and we've we've taken an ergonomic approach to why we design our body and how. And it comes from like playing a bunch of different styles of guitars, but always wanting a guitar that felt like it kind of disappeared when mm -hmm. you played. And part of that is having um, your ability to interface close to it, like how thin the body is and where the sculpts are. Right. So, you know, similar to, I don't know, if you ever driven a sports car or something? Sure. Feels like. 
feels like that, right? <laughs> right. It's it's dialed. It's made to do. It's it's more agile. It's lighter weight. It's more right. responsive. And I I think that that ethos really translates to instruments as well. So yeah. I try to bring that energy to this. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on that. It really is super cool. Thank so you. what do you have going on this year? What's happening? Ah, uh, so I have a band, Animals as Leaders. Sure. We will likely we have a uh, some songwriting sessions coming up in February. Oh, good. So. We'll see, mm-hmm. but it's a new new album lurking in the horizon, and then uh, it's actually the ten year anniversary of an album we put out called "The Joy of Motion." Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll you know we'll th- do something maybe to celebrate something special. Play, yeah. play the whole album or something like that. We'll see. <laughs> How do you feel when bands play the whole album? Are you I like it. That? I've yeah, seen, you know? seen some shows. I, I think it's always fun, especially if you're really into that particular album. I think yeah, it's cool. it kind of takes you back. Yeah, it does. So that's yeah. kind of the vibe. We'll see if we we'll, if we go that route, but. Awesome. Might do something like well, that. we'll look forward to that and to new music and everything that's going on. And mm-hmm. you got anything going on at NAM here today? Um, I'll be performing at the Music Man booth at one. Right. Uh, I have a signing, I believe, at two. And I think that's the bulk of it. Right. Um, I'm working with Bad Cat on some amp stuff, uh, and they are here, so I'll pop around there. Sure. And I'll see what else is going on. You know, NAM is just like this. You got to at least check everything out, right? Yeah. Like to walk around a little bit. And check There's it out. always some cool surprises. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, man, we appreciate you sitting down with us. My and uh, again, congratulations on the uh, guitar. We'll we'll look for some new music and tour coming up. Great awesome. to see you. You too. All right, and thank you for joining us here. We're with Ernie Ball, Tosin Abasi. We're at NAM 2024, and I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.